is Chitra Tarsal, speech language pathologist and the founder and director at Dimension Center for Child Development. Your child needs speech therapy if they haven't acquired their first meaningful word or they haven't learned how to communicate in using gestures by one year of age. If they're around two years of age, then they should be able to use at least 50 meaningful words and understand about 200 words. And if the child is around three years of age, they must be able to answer and ask WH questions to you. If these skills by the respective age is not acquired, then your child requires speech therapy. If your child has specific speech and language delays, then only meeting your speech therapist is sufficient. But if there are other diagnoses like autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, then definitely you may have to also work along with other specialists because it is a team approach and we don't work individually if there are other diagnoses. And your speech pathologist or speech therapist will definitely be able to help you with what your child requires. How often your child needs therapy determines on how much is the gap between their biological age. Maybe the child is born in the year 2000 and by 2022 your child is two years, okay? That's the biological age. And now when it comes to the functioning skills, the therapist, your speech therapist will do a detailed evaluation where we will identify at what age level is the child functioning. If the child is only at the babbling level, maybe the functioning skill sets that we would mark as would be around six months of age. If the child just has two to three words in their repertorio, maybe the child would get a score of one year of age. So if the child has a gap of one year, then you'll have to go at least for two sessions per week. On an average, you need to take two or more sessions if the child has a delay beyond a year. And if the child has a delay less than six months or so, you do sessions two or less of. Now, if the child's biological age is five years and the child's functional age is only one year, you take as many sessions as you can, okay? Because you need to bridge a huge gap, right? So this is how you judge how many sessions you need to take per week with your speech therapist. In order to determine how long you need to prolong your therapies or how, how many years or months you're going to take therapies, we again have to get back to the earlier math that we did between the child's biological age and the child's functioning skill sets, right? So when we see the difference, say if there's a six months gap between these two, then you probably be doing speech therapy for six months if the child has specific speech and language impairments because there's a delay of six months and there are no underlying conditions to say why we need to progress longer. But if the child has other developmental delays or other diagnoses such as autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, etc., then the therapy duration prolongs because of the underlying neurodevelopmental impairments. And also, we don't really know how much of connections the brain has made with that one session and how much of repetability it requires in order for us to determine the duration or how, how, how long your therapy sessions are going to go on. Because these are some things that we can't see from the outside. The other factors that can um, affect the prognosis or the development and the progress of the child is how often these skills are practiced at home. What kind of an environment is the child living in? What kind of uh, peer group the child is interacting with? If the child is having an environment where the child is being bullied, where the child is not being valued, where the child is constantly being punished, the child is going to experience other social emotional difficulties which can prevent or impede the rate at which the child can make progress in therapies. So these are all factors that we can't really measure and it is very complex. In fact, it is impossible to determine and state, yes, in six months, your child will get discharged from therapies or it will take two years and your child will be all well. And if you find someone saying that to you, either you can ask them to work for that period of time and prove the prognosis or understand that they're not giving you the right information because it is impossible to state informations like that. 
the answer is no and yes the child definitely needs to be able to sit for some period of time in order to fully focus into some of the activities that the speech therapist has for him because they often work with flashcards objects and some play items in order for the child to learn therapy in a therapeutic environment like a speech therapy session okay but the child need not have sitting tolerance when they start attending speech therapy sessions why because not all children are born with you know sitting tolerance right a newborn baby is busy kicking their legs around moving their hands around they are crawling all the way through or they are walking throughout the day when they just learn to walk or when they just learn to run and explore the environment they aren't really setting sitting for a prolonged period of time right but they are yet learning language constantly and no one can deny that Similarly when children come to ask for speech therapy sessions we don't expect children or in fact a speech therapy must not expect a child to sit throughout the session because it's not practically possible we again have to go back and rethink and understand the child's biological age versus the child's functioning skill sets so depending on the child's functioning level is where we determine how much of a time the child is going to sit and how much of the time the child is going to move and moving is not a problem in the therapy session you can have the child walk and yet be able to give speech and language stimulation it will definitely be hard for your speech therapist no doubt about it but that's what we are equipped for okay and uh, the other aspect to consider is children can lie down on the therapy therapist lap can be lying down on a therapy mat can be moving about uh, on a swing and the child can still learn speech therapy with your therapist so sitting tolerance is not mandatory but i will encourage that you work gradually to increase the sitting tolerance i hope i have answered your questions about how many therapy sessions your child needs in a week does your child need other services along with speech therapy does your child need to sit through a speech therapy session and the others If you have more questions drop it in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you for joining me in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.